it is pack with me day so i have not shared a packing video in quite some time and we are taking a weekend trip to my sister's today is thursday when i'm filming this and we're staying today through sunday so i will tell you that i have been procrastinating i have not done any of this i've got a little bit on the bed um i have trouble finishing packing if that makes sense like i'm good at getting it started but when i have to finalize what i'm taking is when i'm like oh i don't know because i'm always scared i'm either going to take way too much or not enough what it usually ends up happening is i usually take way too much so we're just going to casually go through this i'm going to share what i am taking and what bags i'm taking and all of that Okay, so that is my husband's stuff. He is not packed yet either. He is at work. When he gets home, he'll just throw all his in a bag and go. You know, men are great like that. They don't have to do the stuff that we do. So I've started getting some of my stuff out. I've got some panties and bras and tank tops and socks. And I do have a swimming suit thing over here. So, and I will talk about this more during my beach vlog but if you watch my vlog from last summer you know i had a very horrible experience with um my sun allergies and this year i'm going totally different so i've got this i got this from the pink lily so i got this i've got three of these that came from the pink lily they are um i guess bikini tops you would call it since having kids i'm a little bit i don't like to show my stomach so the reason why i got the bikini is because i plan on having a shirt over it because my arms and my legs do get affected and bump up and i get a horrible rash so i have this to go over it <clears throat> this one says ola beaches and i've got three of these so i'll share all of them when i share my beach vlog so this is going to go over it so you're not even going to see the bikini top and i'm not going to take my swim leggings i do have swim leggings they came in yesterday but i am going to just take my swim shorts these are zero exposure so that is what i'm taking we might be going to the pool tomorrow so i want to make sure that i take something for that and you know what i need to get a beach towel so let's get a beach towel out for that okay so there is my beach towel so it's an old vera bradley beach towel but you know what it still works so that's what we're taking i got two new ones but i still need to go ahead and wash those before i use them so that is my bathing suit now i'm really not sure I'm, you know what i'm not even going to fool myself i'm just going to go right on here i'm over here going i don't know if i need to take my big suitcase i'm not i'm not even going to play that game today because y'all know i'm going to have to take the big suitcase it does not matter how long i'm staying somewhere i'm going to need to take the big suitcase so here is my big suitcase and i think my mini one is inside of this that's why it's so heavy so if you're wondering about my luggage i will put it on my amazon storefront and i will link my amazon storefront in the description i'm still working on it i was just now able to add that so this is a three-piece set it's the samsonite omni set it comes with a 21 inch 24 inch and 28 this is the 24 inch so that is what i am going to use today and the great thing about them is they nest together so this is my basically my carry-on this is what i use when i fly so i use this when we went to kate's cheer competition in orlando at the beginning of may so that's going to go back in the closet and this is what this piece looks like now i do have a purple soft side luggage piece that um probably kate's going to use when we go on vacation i just prefer the hard side luggage because i like how it's got two full pieces that you can use okay this was not the plan ace man ace man not going this weekend but ace man thinks that i opened this luggage for him i just have to watch him to make sure he does not pee in my luggage like bella likes to do bella has peed in people's luggage before now he's moved to my packing cube he's like okay i'm going this looks really good he likes to lay in my bags. There's some bags that I've had in the floor in the office and I won't put them up because he likes to sleep on them. So he's got to get out of that because I'm putting sleeping things in there. 
Okay, is anybody like me? So the way that I normally pack is I will, this is my tub full of clean laundry. So I will pack from my laundry basket. Does anybody else do that? So, so it just makes it easier for me. We did laundry yesterday. We like to have all the laundry done before we go somewhere. So all of my clean stuff is in here. So I'm pulling everything out of my clean laundry because that's less that I have to put away. Okay, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes and Ace is back in the luggage for some reason. I think he thinks he's hiding when he gets in something like that and crouches down. So I'm slowly getting there. I'm actually vacuuming as I go because Bella is shedding so bad and she's been laying in the closet. So I had to get in there and vacuum. You see, we had just massive amount of hair all over our closet so now it looks better this is what I have done so far so I'll share this with you then I'll go to the next thing so this is my sleeping pouch so you guys this is going to be in my Amazon storefront as well everything that I can think of that I use I will put in that Amazon storefront so this set is the lug cargo and they have three packing cubes that come with this set they have two these are the medium and they have one gigantic one that's on the bed so this one has all of my sleepwear in it and when i say sleepwear it's got sweatshirts in here too so i sleep with sweatshirts if you did not know i have thyroid issues and i know if you've been part of this community for a while i say this pretty often i stay cold even when we go to the beach i have to wear a sweatshirt to sleep um and somebody told me one time when i mentioned it that when you have thyroid issues your internal thermostat is off so that is stuck with me and it makes complete sense so i have leggings t-shirts and sweatshirts in here and socks so yes i sleep in socks as well then over here that is tank tops um bras and panties and then i have a pair of house shoes i always have house shoes and you guys i have learned to stock up on these i probably have five or six pairs of house shoes because i did not realize this until last year house shoes are a seasonal item so these came from walmart so they don't always carry this type of little slipper they call them slippers so i purchased four or five pair this year because last year I only had one or two they got holes in them i wear these every single day in the morning and the afternoon so anytime i'm not at work or going somewhere i usually have house shoes on so these came from walmart they are the disney ones so i put those over there then over here so far i have my flat iron and um, it's the bionic 10 flat iron this bagalini case is my favorite as well so i will link both of those um i like it um my blow dryer is anybody else like this when i travel i have to take my blow dryer i feel like that my hair is used to my blow dryer so if i if i use somebody else's i just don't feel like it works as well anybody else like that i just feel like my blow dryer is suited to me it doesn't matter which one i have i just always take it so this is the one i've used for the past couple of years it is the um con air infinity pro and i really like it i got it from target so if that's on amazon i will link that as well then this is the packing cube that came in the Erin condren summer summer seasonal surprise box and i have my swimming suit in there so and it's still got a ton of room look at this so it's only halfway see it's got all that room left so i can squeeze it down so i just thought i would use this one since it's a different color than the e so i'll know oh the blue has my swimsuit in it so that is what i have packed so far so i think i have all of the clothes packed i have everything that i shared with you already i have t-shirts right here nothing dressy this is just a relaxing weekend we're not going anywhere special if we go somewhere it really doesn't matter what i wear so i've got t-shirts then i have a i have jeans and joggers in here jeans and joggers i'm not big into wearing shorts i just don't like they're just not comfortable to me shorts are not comfortable or i guess i need to try to invest in some that are comfortable and i don't think they look right on me so 
I have joggers and jeans in here. Joggers and jeans and t-shirts over here. Everything else is pretty well set. I'm hoping. If not, it's really not that big of a deal. Now, one last thing is going to go over here, I think. And I don't know if my makeup and all that. I may have to do a second bag for all of that which I usually have a second bag for that. So now we're moving to the medication. So yes, I do take medication if you did not know that. So this is my Get It Creations makeup bag. So I've shared this a few times on this channel and this is what I'm gonna be using to carry all of my medicine. I used it when we went for the yurt camping. If you've not seen that vlog, I'll link that in a card above. And it was the perfect solution for all of my medication. So that is what we are going to use. So I'm going to slowly pull that in here and share with you what I'm taking and put it in here and show you how everything fits. Okay, first up is my morning medication pill organizer. Now, this is Vera Bradley. I have three, I'm supposed to have three separate organizers, but my lunchtime medication is in separate little things. I took it out of the main Vera Bradley thing. I'll share it with you. So, I have three different organizers so I don't confuse them. So, this is what my morning medication is in. So, I have it divided out here. So, this has my thyroid medication my Zoloft, my vitamin D3. I have to take D3 because I'm always low on vitamin D. And then I have my bladder medication. So I did have a hysterectomy last summer. If you did not know that, I'll link that in a card above. But I still have issues with needing to pee a lot. So I'm on bladder medication every single day. So all four of those pills are in here and that's gonna go in there first thing. And my lunchtime medicine, these go in a huge Bear Bradley organizer, but it's pretty large, so I just divide them out because normally I'm just taking one for lunch when I'm working, but right now I'm not teaching because it's summer. So I've got four of these, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I have one for Monday just in case, and then I put some extra probiotics in there just in case. That is something I cannot forget to take every day because it messes my stomach up if I miss a day. So this is, even though it's listed, this is all for lunch. So in this one pill organizer, I have omega-3. So my good cholesterol has been really bad for the last three years. And last year, I finally had somebody tell me I needed to take omega-3 instead of fish oil. So that's what that is. Here is that Q vitamin that they told you to take for the virus, then vitamin C. Then I have multivitamins and probiotics. So all of that is in there. So we're going to put those in my little makeup bag and moving to my nighttime medication. Last but not least is my nighttime medication, and I would call this a variety pack because there's actually other things in this one as well. This is a Vera Bradley, just like the other one. So this is what I have in here. So this first row is what I take at nighttime. So these two are magnesium. I just have them in two just in case I need, I don't know, just in case. So I take one magnesium pill and then one allergy pill. So I've got allergy here magnesium here then i have benadryl in case i need that charcoal tablets in case i get glutened always have these with me and then ibuprofen so all of that goes in there as well so as you see i have a ton of room left so i think what i'm going to do is put my glasses in here and my contact case in here as well just so i don't have to put those with my makeup and things so I have a few more things that I am going to put in here that I feel like is kind of medication oriented. So I've got my glasses that I have to have. If I don't have my contacts in, I can't see. This is for my glasses cleaner. It's the little cloth. Extra contacts. So I have contacts and these look a little bit beat up, but it's okay. It serves the purpose. So those go in there. My contact case. And this is my daily lifesaver. So I have had a lot of just gunk lately. I use this every morning and every night before I go to bed. It just cleans out my nasal passage. So I'm gonna put that in here. So that is all for my medication. And that looks pretty good, look at that. So that fits nicely right there. So the only other thing I think I'm going to put in here is shoes because normally I have a robe, but I just went to the kitchen and it's in the dirty clothes. So I know it's probably not gonna get 
it's not going to get ready to go for today so i'm not going to have that so i am going to put a few extra pairs of shoes in here i'll share those with you and then this will be done so after we do that i'm going to zip it up and then we'll move to skincare and skincare beauty and all of that so can you tell what my shoe of choice is and i've got a pair on today so birkenstocks are my shoe of choice so these are the arizona ones i've talked about these in several videos then these are my newest pair then i have these here is this zoomed in yes it is zoomed in no wonder okay there we go so these are the newest ones i've had these for a year to I think two years I love these these can be worn in the water and they just I mean clean right up so these are will be what I take to the beach so I've got a white pair and I've got a black pair so I'm going to take both of those these are the Birkenstock Evas and these are roughly I want to say $40 and then these are my newest pair of shoes these are the Disney Crocs so I got these. I splurged on these. They were like 50 something, but I've wore them almost every single day that I've And then I have these. This is a recent purchase. These are the Disney Crocs, and I will tell you that yes, I splurged on these and spent probably $60 on them, but I've worn them every single day since I've gotten them. I love them. They are comfortable and I like the white pair, the white color, I guess you would say. And these are going to go. So I've got these, 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 and the ones that I have on now. Okay, I had to move a few things around. I had to move the medication and my bathing suits over here so that I could get the shoes to fit because I didn't want them to get smashed in the luggage so i've got one two and then three under here and then this is my rain jacket i don't think i mentioned that i always take a rain jacket and the ones that i have are the pack and goes from pretty little monograms so that is going there and this luggage is ready to be zipped up and put in the levy so this luggage so this luggage is now put together so i need to zip it up and put it in the living room so next up for my skincare, hair care, beauty, all of that kind of stuff, we're going to use this Everything Mary Crafting Caddy. So y'all have had this for probably three, four years. It's probably time for a new one. So as you see, I have used it. It has been used and loved. Look at all the nastiness on the inside. So... I'm just keeping it real. The great thing about this is it has all of these compartments all the compartments so if you check my amazon storefront that is where i think i got either this one or the one previously i've had two of these so it's got this little compartment over here oh, i've got a little cotton rind on there so up here look at the compartment so i put my shampoos and everything up here so i'm going to get this filled and i will share that with you so this side here i just have random things like hair ties a face razor um, tweezers nail trimmers a tinkle razor um bobby pins barrettes all of that goes here then the last little compartment on the side is here i have a razor and then an extra contact case so i've started carrying just leaving that contact case in here because i went to my sister's a few months ago and i realized i did not have a contact case so i had to find some little bitty cup to use that was not yeah it just didn't work so that is the side now we're going to move to the top so i'm going to zip that up now we're going to move to the top area as you see there's a lot in the top so we're just going to start here and work our way around over here y'all these two things here that is actually vanilla for my sister my mom dropped that off and wants my sister to have it and i wanted to make sure i didn't forget it so i just shoved it in here this is my face cleaner the babo botanical sensitive skin love that this is my hairbrush that is broken it's my favorite though so i don't want to get a new one because it still works and it's my favorite brush so that's just something i don't want to switch i have some wrinkle releaser i need to fill that up i've got my um clippies around 
just clipped on the side. That's what I use when I'm flat ironing my hair. I've got an extra thing of wet ones, antibacterial. I always have these. I've got several of these in several different places. Um, deodorant, Pond's cold cream, um, toothpaste, static guard. Y'all, my hair gets lots of static because it's so thick. So that, um, I've got sunscreen for the pool. Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the cucumber one. Contact solution. And then we're moving to the last area over here. And then over here, my makeup. Y'all, I don't think I'm going to wear the makeup, but I'm at least taking it just in case. Um, it's in one of those clear, they called it like a 211 or 611 case from Vera Bradley. I think it's called the clear travel case now something like that i'm not really sure i've had it for years um i've got my acne acne dote face and body scrub this made a favorite it's the alba botanica um, toothbrush and my face lotion which is also going to be my body lotion so i don't have to take two so that is my everything mary beauty caddy that's got my hair care my face stuff, and my cosmetics. Last but not least, we have my personal items, and most of these, if you've been part of this community for any length of time, you've probably already seen them. So this is the bag that I am taking as my basically sticker shop bag, or that's what we're gonna call it, because it has everything associated with my sticker shop. If you've not seen this, I have a video on my Jujube B pack. This is the Disney floral print. I am a GGB affiliate, so I always have that link in my description. But I have in this front pocket, told y'all, more wet ones. I have two things of it. A, the 4 by 6 post-it notes that I always tell y'all that I carry. And then I have some pens and some hand spray, hand sanitizer over here. Over here, I don't think I have anything in that pocket. In here, I have this little this is the newest disney jujube print this is the once upon a time that has the princesses on it so definitely check that out this comes in a three-piece set it's called the b set if i can open it up okay so y'all have seen the inside of my pencil case before if you've not seen that video i will link that in a card above so it has my whiteout runner all of my pens this cleans my phone, my eyeglasses, and my sunglasses, an extra hair tie. So just all of my little extra things that are small that need a place to go. So that just slides down there. So I have here, if you've not seen my budget planner video, so here, these three notebooks here, if you've not seen the video that I shared Friday on how I bill pay, I shared all of these in that video, so check that out. This is my everyday planner. This is my horizontal life planner. So I do plan with me videos. So I will share the most recent plan with me in a card above. Here is my, this is the Erin Condren 3 subject notebook, you guys. I love it. So this is perfect for my sticker shop. So I have that in here and then a random notebook that I use as a brain dump. And I've had people ask me, what is a brain dump? Y'all, I just write things down. Just take a piece of paper and write them down. No order to it at all. So just random notes is what goes in there. And then the last thing that's going to go on the top right up here is my B Dapper. So this is probably one of my favorite Juju B items, the B Dapper. So it reminds me of the, is it the Doppy cases? that for like cosmetics or for a lot of um, companies sell them for men. They have a men's line for those. But this is my tech organizer. So this is what my laptop charger, my watch charger, my mouse, my, um, I have my anchor travel extension cord in the very bottom. There it is. I've got my AirPods, my phone charger cord. So all of that fits in here, you guys. This thing fits a ton. So it's well worth the money that you pay. So that is going to go up here. So I don't know if I can do this one-handed. So I'm going to put this down. Okay. We're going to see if I can do this. So we're going to put this up here like so. And look how perfect that fits right in there. And zip it up. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That fits perfectly. So as you see, that fit perfect up there. 
perfect fit so that is all in there and you may think this is heavy but it's really not but honestly I'm not going to be toting this around to and from this is going to go to the car go to my sister's and sit there so the things in here I won't be traveling if we go to, out to eat or anything this is strictly for the house so then we have my laptop. So I have, my laptop is like a 16 inch laptop. So very few cases will fit that. Herschel Supply Company had one. So I got this off of Mercari, I think it was. If I can find this, I will link it. So I got this probably four years ago off of there. So my laptop in here, and I just wanted it to be separate. I didn't want to have one bag to carry all of this. I just chose to have it separate today. And then this is my everyday bag. So this is my Stony Clover fanny pack. This is the first fanny pack that I've had ever, ever. I've never had a fanny pack until now. So this is the tie-dye print. And then this is from Margarita's bag. And I Gorilla glued it together, seriously. And inside I have an extra uh, Luna bar in case I get hungry. Some lotion, my Honest hand sanitizer, some pins, and then my Lug Splits wallet. So this is my newest purchase from Lug. I love the Splits wallet. I have the black one. I have the Rainbow Navy that I got for Christmas from my husband, and I purchased this for myself. This is the Small World, and it looks like Small World from Disney. So that's going to fit in there, and I'm going to close it. And you guys, that is it for the personal items. So that is all for this pack with me video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I'm packing to go to my sister's this weekend. We are leaving today in like the next 10 minutes and we will be coming home today's Thursday and we'll be coming home Sunday. So anything that I've mentioned that is available, I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. I will also link my Amazon storefront where I'm continuously adding items to that. So that is going to be linked as well. So the common question for today is going to be what other type of bag oriented videos or travel videos would you like to see me do so what bag and travel videos would you like to see me do so let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up it shows youtube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity also i hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.